Hello guys, my name is Ablone Tyler, otherwise known as Will, and today I'm bringing some Battlefield 3. And this is going to be some gameplay on the map Talar Market, and I'm primarily using the MP443 because it is, of course, some scavenger gameplay. I haven't uploaded any scavenger gameplay, but before I do anything, I would like to do this. I am going to be playing some ta la 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 yeah, just, 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 just ignore me. It's Talar Market, if you can't guess, because of the fact that I'm such a mental bastard. But yeah, I am really, really random, and that's something I love that, like, I keep thinking in my head whenever a Talar Market comes into a playlist or something. That's why it's one of my favourite maps in the game, and definitely probably my favourite map in Aftermath. But this isn't about my favourite maps, or any shizma dizzle like that. Instead, it is about, was Battlefield 3 as good of a game as it could have been? So you may not understand what that title means, but in other terms, what it is, is how, did Battlefield 3 reach its full potential in what it was hyped up to be, what it actually became when it was released first time and then how have the patches and the expansion packs and just general updates helped progress the game throughout its two year life cycle near two year life cycle so to speak it's currently around about 22 23 months in its life cycle since it's released in october november 2011 so to start off i'm going to be discussing why it has reached its potential and done quite well in certain areas. So to start off, it has done brilliantly in like how it's been improved since it was released. So I'm going to be going over the maps first. Since when Battlefield 3 was released as the base game in November 2011, it had nine maps. Now, as the game has been obviously improved and everything else, the game now has near 30 maps 30 actually has 29 but I digress I digress it's the same thing well it kind of is but I digress even more it's the, it, the game has been improved vastly it's had new maps 29 in general in total and it's made the game much more entertaining for new players as well as battlefield veterans so to start off, the maps and modes which have been implemented have favoured all members alike. So if you're an infantry guy that likes prefers infantry over vehicles and does quite well with infantry, and just maybe has joined from the COD series, close quarters is ideal for them. It's been designed for close quarters, gun on gun, team deathmatch, and domination and it's just been quick fast paced it's been nice to introduce call of duty players into the franchise with the basic game modes which they've played in previous games prior the also like let's take armored kill for an example that's these are two extremes but you can see what i'm going to be on about armored kill obviously in its title favored armor it wouldn't favor like it wouldn't favor like a cheese toasty if it was called Armoured Kill. But I digress even more. It was designed really for the use of tanks, heavy artillery, and vehicles and helicopters. That's what it did. It was called Armoured Kill, and it laid the smack down with the armour. You could use so much armour, it's unbelievable. You had artillery strikes, you had new tanks. It just gave the game an extra different sort of level with the fact that there's so many different new vehicles and new maps and new modes it just made the game much more entertaining and since it made me stay on the game for two years because at the moment i enjoy battlefield but if they didn't upload it didn't do new expansion packs didn't do new dlc didn't do any sort of new updates I'm sure I wouldn't enjoy Battlefield 3. Reason why? Because it just get boring. That's why I'm not I'm not hating on Call of Duty here, but I find Call of Duty boring because it seems repetitive. There's no new game modes, there's no new like expansion, no sort of new diversion. 
Battlefield 3, and by Battlefield series in general, always has diversion. If you take, for example, I've already stated an example. For for example, I'm just going to stop saying an example because it's really getting me in the pistol. You've got two different spectrums. It favours both types of players. But then again, you may look at Battlefield 3 and think it could have been better. And it really could have been better. So why could it have been better? You may be wondering, you may be thinking, how the hell could it have been better? Stroking your imaginary beard, chin thing. And sorry in the background if you can hear a vacuum cleaner, it's not my fault, it's my mum. I digress even more. But yeah, the reason why it could have been better is because DICE didn't think about what the community was saying at the start. They patched some things which made them brilliant, which made them decent, not overpowered. But then they patched things to the point where they were practically unusable. And one of these instances is with the infrared scope or the IRNV scope. It's it used to be superb. I remember you could play when it was released, and it used to be really overpowered. It used you could easily get loads of kills with it. It was overpowered. You could see long distances, and it was just a really good scope. And now they nerfed it to oblivion. It takes like two seconds to focus in, and you only have a d distance while well, range in it of round about. Not even 50 meters. It's a useless scope. And I don't see why. They nerfed it that much. To the point where. It's too weak. That no one's going to use it. So there was no point in nerfing it. It makes a bit of a. Sort of. It's it's a circle which they've. Took too far. It was meant to be an. It's meant to be an oval. But they've took it too sharply. To the point where it's become a circle. And this is a really rubbish analogy. But it's like. It's not good. It's just made some of the game really bad for players alike. And another thing that has really bugged me off is the amount of glitches that have been in maps. Which have been exploited time after time after time. And DICE has done fuck all about it. If you look at Operation Metro, this is a brilliant example. If you can get, if you can use the, utilise the glitch and climb up onto the top of the map get above the map you will get loads of kills because no one can kill you from underneath you can drop C4 you can just shoot people through the roof and it will just piss people off and it was a glitch DICE never sorted it I believe it was there from day one DICE has never sorted it and that's the reason why I fucking hate Metro because it is boring and it pisses me off every time I bet one in every ten games there's at least a squad that glitches and pisses me off. And I presume pisses every other person in that server off. So yes, I have finished my rant of death. No, it wasn't of death. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed my opinion. And I'll see you next time out on the battlefield.